What's up guys, summer's coming to an end and another school year is about to begin. So in this video, we are going to be doing a move-in makeover. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. Also, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below and yeah, enjoy. So going up the stairs, there's nothing too special about this place. Here's a couple of videos of the room. The rooms are very nice as it comes with a bed, cupboard and desk, the essentials, and also very spacious. As soon as I saw the room, I immediately figured out how I wanted to design it and then it was straight to work. I personally recommend setting aside some time in order to do your room because this can be the most frustrating part and you may not be satisfied with how it looks at first. Once I was satisfied with the look, I began to move my stuff in and this was the most frustrating part for me personally because I don't like mess and as you can see, my room was a complete mess. The biggest advice I'd give for people moving in for the first time, it doesn't actually have to be the first time, just moving in in general, is to ask for help. Because this is definitely a couple day journey and can be very frustrating and taxing if you do it by yourself. Also, as a college student, it is very difficult to find a spot. So I'll definitely leave a link in the description of the place that we are staying at. Soon after, I started with my college day setup. I recently got a Samsung monitor from my girlfriend as a birthday present which was pretty cool so I was very eager to set it up. This did not take too long to set up as all I needed to do was connect a couple wires and then switch it on. Once I finished with that I went straight into the wardrobe. If you don't know me I like to keep my long sleeve clothes hung up. This for me was also the most satisfying part of the movement because there's no better feeling than taking your stuff out your luggage and putting it into your new spot. As you can see, the cupboard is very nice. Straight after that, I dove into doing my folding, which is not the funnest thing to do, but the ladies love a neat guy, so guys, take care of yourself. After searching for my decor for my room, this is where more, most of my time was spent, was folding, because obviously it's boring. In the top drawer, I got my shirts. Second drawer, I got my golf clothes. Third drawer, I got my pants. After that, I went straight into the shelves. As you can see, I display most of my plants here. Unfortunately, they're not real plants because I spend most of my time outside of the house. So if I had real ones, they would probably die, which is not a good look. I also like having plants in my room because it helps me set a mood of relaxation when I come back from a long day. And this is the finished product of my shelf. I like to keep things that are important to me, like my family photos, which keeps me pushing through dark times. The next part was the most fun, was setting up the LED lights. The LED lights are essential in order to set the mood for whichever atmosphere you're trying to achieve. These type of LED lights you'll see everywhere, such as parties, chillers, and all sorts of things. These lights can really change a person's room from being boring and dull to more fun and vibrant at night. Also adds a little spice, if you know what I mean. Once I finished hanging up the lights, I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek on how it looks at night. I do recommend shopping at 5 and below because you can really find some sick things here. I was gifted with this pumpkin which really adds a cool decor to the room. Here's another shelf setup. This is a very simple way to do it. Just add some plants, add a frame and you're good to go. I personally didn't want to see any blank walls in my room so I decided to get some vines just to add a little bit of flair to the room. As you can see it did a pretty good job. Next thing I tackled was my desk setup. I added a few plants, a photo, a light, and yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? If you couldn't tell already, I really do like my LED light, so that's why I got this LED keyboard, which keeps me awake when I'm working at night. So I personally like my room smelling good, so that's why I bought this thing of essential oils. You mix this with water in your humidifier, and it keeps your room smelling really good at night or during the day, whichever one you prefer. I'll also leave a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing this product. I highly recommend. So this nice stand is also located right next to my desk, so I have access to the time as well as a nice sweet smell. The last two things that I added to my room was an LED sign as well as posters. I personally th thought that they looked pretty cool. These four things revolve around the grind, which is important in college because you're going to be pushed to your limits and have to succeed. And looking at these posters in the morning is a great start to the day. And yes, for those that are looking for a poster like this, I'll definitely leave a link in the description below. So this is the finished product of my college setup in 2022. Let me know what you guys think in the description and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.
If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe button below. This will keep you updated with my new videos. And yeah, I'll see you for the next one.